Alright, hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Prue or Prue Larue, and today I'm going to be talking to you about my goals uh, in YouTube, makeup, and personal. Uh, this is a video that I saw Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner and Give Me Lip and More do, and I was really sort of just inspired by them to sit down and film my goals. And I love the look I created today. <laughs> the video for this should be out or will be coming soon. Um, if you haven't already, I'd absolutely love it if you would consider subscribing, liking, commenting on the video. So I'm going to start off talking about YouTube and my goals for that. So my number one goal is to find what is like my strongest video. Like the video that is... that I do the best. Um, I'd absolutely love to know what your favourite video is. And I really want to try and work on fine-tuning those kind of videos. Um, or keep finding and just keep bringing out more content and trying to find what my right fit is. My goal is kind of to find my right fit. I'd really love to do some more collabs. Um, I'm the worst at like communicating and asking people for them though. There are some few, some coming up. Um, but yeah, <laughs> doing some more collabs. I'd also really want to do some more recreation look videos. So potentially like we're not recreating looks from magazines, run shows, or just other creators looks. And I find because I'm not naturally a really creative person, it can be good for me to recreate someone's look to sort of get a an idea of how I could apply this and then work on it. And that's sort of how I end up coming up with like stuff like today. But I think I'd like to do some more like distracting myself from buying so maybe re -look, recreating looks created with a certain palette that this, that has just come out but I don't want to buy and stuff like that. I'd also really like to do some more like deep dives into certain areas of makeup to fine tune what exactly my favorite is. So potentially this would involve so like say I've, I've got five full size mascaras but going through all of these and comparing them and then figuring out what mascara I like the best and what makes each of these favorites. Because <laughs> um, I, I do love all of these mascaras, I just feel like I'm not the best at describing why. I'd love to know if that's something you'd be interested in seeing, and potentially I could do that with all the areas of makeup. Mm, I would learn from that, maybe you would learn from it. Um, and then ultimately I'd be reassessing what I think of my YouTube at six months, so in July, and figuring out what I want to do with this whole... Um, some of my makeup goals is don't buy it just because I want it. It's very hard to control. <laughs> I do. I love just buying stuff sometimes. So I don't think that will ever completely stop. But I definitely don't want to be making huge purchases just because I want it. I really want to have a good understanding of why I want it and being a bit more mindful in my purchase choice, which I think is reasonable. I'd also love to attempt at least three looks with each palette in my collection. Which I feel like I'm sort of slowly getting there, but <laughs> can keep going. Um, and I think that would just be a good practice for me to get more use out of all of my products, really. I don't want to buy any more cream eyeshadows. So I'll show you my current collection. Uh, a lot of these are cream eyeshadows. Some of them are just singles. But I've got like, these are the Sydney Grace cream shadows. I've got some Revlon creams, Tarte cream, and yeah, I just, I, for last year I got really into buying cream, cream eyeshadow, and I just haven't used it enough to feel like it's warranted buying more. It's one of those more difficult products to use. It does look pretty, but just a cream eyeshadow doesn't tend to last as well, and yeah. I'd like to spend a bit more time maybe using my cream eyeshadows that I currently have before I add any more to my collection. I really want to do a makeup inventory. This is a video that has been going around but sitting down and sort of counting all your items. Um, I did do Tim Taylor's Vanity for a while but it kind of really annoyed me how it breaks down the eyeshadow palettes into the shades. I just wanted the eyeshadow palette. Um, so having a, like an app or maybe just writing on an Excel document all the products that I own. I would just like to have that for my own entertainment. And most importantly, to keep my makeup loved. <laughs> I don't wanna, I wanna use everything, really. Um, my personal goals, um, 
I feel like I've started out reasonably well with this, but it's definitely to take better care of myself mentally and physically. Last year I definitely have put on a fair bit of weight, and, which is disappointing for me. I've sort of struggled with this my whole life and I really want to get that under control. Uh, and I just want to feel better about myself with it. Mentally, I really want to work on my anxiety, my social anxiety, and like my level of depression at times. I really want to feel stronger in myself and to just feel healthy as well. I really want to play more Pokemon Go. This is a stupid one. But uh, when Pokemon Go came out as the app on the phone, I used to play it all the time. And I've sort of gone back into it, but I've dropped off again. Uh, but I like playing Pokemon Go mostly because it encourages me to go outside and go for walks, really, and get out some fresh air. So that's going to help me with that first goal. I'm tired into that one. I also really want to read some more books. I've got plenty of books to choose from, and I just want to spend some more time looking after myself. Um, oh, and sorry, going back to my YouTube goals, just to tie it back in again. Um, I'd really love to maybe expand a little bit more on my content. I know that there's highly recommended to stay within your niche, so I've already started doing beauty videos. Uh, would you like to see like lifestyle stuff? Or I have talked about doing my clothing hauls. I definitely could go through my closet and do a huge declutter of that. Or I've got like an ASOS haul coming through soon. Uh, I've just been intimidated to set up the setup for that. Um, but yeah, I'd absolutely love to know your thoughts on any of my goals and what your goals might be for the next year or if you've already done a video like this and you're watching, um, please share with me below. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I absolutely appreciate it. Anyway.